What can we do within our own chain to help strengthen this? And what specifically can we do to help farmers, especially producers at my level, feel like uh, they have more options, that they can, uh, they can have more control over their own path? How can Bayer help to reassure farmers that they can control their own destiny? Well, uh, there's an old saying, you regulate yourself or you be regulated. And I think that's the first thing uh, any producer or any company needs to recognize is that we have to be mindful of what we do and, uh, and make sure that our house is clean. If, if we're 100% sure that that's done and it's done properly, um, then any foundation that we, that we want to try to lay together it has got to be based on a few very simple premises that we should agree on and follow that helps get that message across. Uh, we are very siloed in, in, in our grower groups, in our trade associations, and we deal with our issues, and our issues are more important than anybody else's issues, <laughs> and, 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 that, and that's okay. We have recognize it happens, but when you do the cross-cutting line across what those issues really are, that's where we find our commonality, and we shouldn't try to make it complex. We should boil it down to three or four key messaging points that we want to try to get across to our politicians and, our, and the bureaucrats in Washington. Um, as well as then drive this back down to the state and the, and the local levels and, and really then begin to educate our uh, K-12 through students about uh, American agriculture, about modern agriculture and the benefits that it does present for society. To understand the underlying uh, challenges that we have and the threats that we have in our industry, to begin communicating in a more positive way collectively about what modern agriculture actually is and its purpose and why we do the things that we do. You're exactly right that when we say that the voice of reason has is, is really kind of been thrown out the window and we and the, the science-based approach is something that people don't really want to resonate with. Even though science is, is everything that we do and innovation is everything we do, we can't abandon that. But I think this, people begin to understand the real challenges we have in terms of feeding a world population, understanding the necessity that uh, of, of, this is a global business, it's not a U.S.-based business, and so the American producer is really feeding a global population and we don't control what goes on in India and China but we do understand that our role is is to help feed those people and this population is going to expand and we have to, to, to look at it in a way that's, that's totally balanced with what uh, individuals uh, that might not want to reason with us today and understand their point of view as well as bring ours into the equation the first thing we have to do is sit down and talk about what those differences are but the ag industry has got to come together, which is something that has not happened in the history of American agriculture. Good point.